good evening my dear youtube viewers today also we will continue the caste system and its theories one among them is guna theory the gunas are derived from two words that is from the prakruti and the purusha the prakruti word refers to the female and purusha word refers to the male so based on these two combinations we are deriving the different varieties of gunas gunas is nothing but qualities there are three types of gunas sattva guna rajo guna tamo guna sattva guna stands for white substance goodness and joy whereas rajo guna stands for red substance egoism violence jealous and ambition and tamo guna stands for black substance laziness stupidity and fear finally it can say broadly the sattva guna meant for purity and tamo guna meant for impurity this guna system will also helpful to understand the varna system based on the food habits and lifestyle mechanism in the society sattva guna people used to consume vegetarian food rajo guna people used to consume not only the vegetarian even non vegetarian also particularly domestic animals small size animals domestic animals like the ram goat chick something like this tamo guna this people not only vegetarians and they will consume the non vegetarians but the animals size is large and cruel that is the beef pork something like this and they this tamoguna people will also consume leftovers yesterday night all food all is also they will consume and lifestyle mechanism brahmins this people meant for reciting and chanting the mantras performing sacrifices doing the good prayers that is for good preaching untouchables scavenger action tanning that is the cleaning the dead animal skin for various purposes sometimes the animal skins used for music instruments also and also deals with filthy activities filthy means tidy dirty mukhi and grimy indecent activity untouchables third category is kshatriyas and vaisyas this people meant for kshatriyas warfare that is meant for defense mechanism as soldiers next the vaisyas who used to cultivate the practice of cultivation agricultural cultivation herding animal rearing trading is their right so these things they are practicing gunas can also improved through the changing the food habits as well as marriage system by this it is easy to attain the spiritual life within a limited span of period of time though we may burn in the non vegetarian out of disinterest out of advancing age we will change our food habits non vegetarian to vegetarians then switch over to the jajmani system that is the economic system the mundane relationship among various castes depending upon the receiving the and giving the services sellers and the givers buyers this phenomenon is called the jajmani relations in a farmer social order there are two groups or the two individuals are required in this jajmani system the service giver called the patron that is who will enjoy the services we will call them as a patron in return they will give the either kind form or cash form and another one is the service giver is called the kamin that is maybe the physical worker or the mental worker they are rendering the services those who are in need we can call them as kamin patron is receivers kamin is givers though relationship 
and interaction between these two groups we can call it as jajamani system the mode of payment may be daily weekly fortnight monthly and the form may be kind form or the cash form then third variety regular exchange services are different but occasionally exchange services are different occasionally means maybe birth time or the death time delivery time or the marriage or puberty at that time the receivers givers are coming and the receivers are patron it differ occasionally they will get the more amount also next professor code 1987 seven said like this there are several reasons to expand the jajamani relations in and outside the villages it is not jajamani relations is not confined only within the village same village sometimes it will be outside villages so based on their interaction and the service taking we can divide in three categories when the absence of specialist that is service givers automatically from the outside villages people come and satisfy the needs example in the a village specialized persons are not there so the a village people will invite the b village people because of the absence of the specialist second category in order to enhance their income whenever their services are needed use it to move and render their services in order to improve their income status not only satisfy their local income they will move to the another village same work they will do it they will enhance their amount third category is when the patron was dissatisfied that is the receiver is dissatisfied with their local specialist service providers then automatically they called the exports from the outside village our local people may be weak technically at that time they will call the outsiders options is different weaker in the action is different okay according to colenda the nature of common work is reformed based on the following situations or the conditions so common is nothing but the service receivers let us think who will be the master they are receiving the services from the workers or the laborers as the time goes on some changes had been taken place what we call it as reforms number 1 in the absence of specific caste people an example chamar who is acting as a common that is the laborer or giver then they called the other caste people example barber in their local village barber is not there they will call not only no need to call the barber they will call the another gentleman to do the barbering activity other caste people to satisfy their needs second when the specific caste group people are serving as a common from generation to generation so same group people are rendering their services for a particular household not only one generation pass from the uh, earlier generation to the present generation but due to the sociological psychological and economic other family conflicts sometimes the joint family shifted to nuclear family as a result the size of family may be minimized in spite of that the common the service giver is also continue to render their services without to break because they thought it is to loyal to their master patron so here it is even though the family size may be joint family turn into the small family nuclear family but they do not want to discontinue it they want to show their loyalty continuing their services for the master even after his death the master household head is died they want to continue for their children the same work sometimes the situation will change the other caste of kamen so sometimes the same caste person may not be available it the work will be allotted for some other caste people that is the another common 
example in the absence of regular kamin that is service provider the other kamin used to serve for many patrons the generally a kamin a laborer work for the a household sometimes a kamin will work for the b household c household and d household is also examples pattern may be changed example a laborer need not be confined only for the a group people that is example for the brahmin this a kamin the service provider can also move to the chatriyas vaisyas some other caste people also to render their services example washermen the washermen is not only for the brahmins and also for the other community people too here it is who is changing pattern is service receivers are changing but the service provider is one and same now due to the more number of specializations same caste people are involved in different kamins any backward caste people are not confined their caste occupation as the time goes on social changes had been taken place same caste people no need to work the same caste occupation as it before example a washerman may be act as a washing the clothes and also extended his services if he was become then a collector or a teacher or a businessman he can also deal with the other activities from this it is understood partially the jajmani system is working still even though changes had been taken place in the society mode of exchange or interaction and relations are three types one is service to service example if brahmins are doing the services for the other caste in return the other caste people they may be sudras they are cleaning their houses second service to goods brahmins are doing the services or prayers for the sake of the village so in return the people will give some amount of the food material or grains whatever it may be if it was the king's period they had given some villages under the name of agraharam for the maintenance of the pujari for the maintenance of the brahmin community third category is goods to goods when the people are needed x type of food that is the if the people are needed the wheat they do but they but they had the rice only chawal only at that time they will give to the other people this wheat and exchange with the rice so goods to goods is also exchanging phenomenon was observed this system was observed only in the absence of the current situation at present this type of systems is not available jajmani systems but earlier days it was once again we will recap the information in the caste theory in the caste system at the villages we can also execute the we can also understood the caste values through the guna theory gunas are nothing but the qualities that is adjectives of the human being here it is gunas are derived from the two persons one is the prakriti or two units second one is purusha when two prakriti refers to the female purusha refers to the male these two when they unite together the bond the birth has taken by in the form of human the human may consist of the three forms of gunas maybe they will be named as sattva guna rajo guna and tamo guna if it is a sattva guna it stands for white substance goodness and joy whereas rajo guna stands for red structure egoism violence jealousy and ambition tamo guna stands for black substance laziness stupidity and fear finally it can say broadly there are two types sattva guna people is always comes under the purity purified people whereas tamo guna people come under the polluted or the impured people this guna system is also helpful to understand the varna system how based on the food habits and the lifestyle mechanism social lifestyle mechanism if it is food habits sattva guna people used to consume vegetarian food whereas rajo guna 
they will consume not only vegetarian and also non vegetarian particularly small size animals or domestic animals that is the ram goat chicken something like that and tamoguna people they will consume both veg and the non veg domestic and non domestic animals also they will consume chicken mutton beef pork ram so whatever it may be anything if it comes under the meat category non vegetarian they will consume such type of people we, we will keep them under the tamoguna added to this yesterday night the remained food leftovers also they used to consume it next switch over to the second category lifestyle mechanism brahmins their work is reciting and chanting the mantras performing the sacrifices that is offering the anything to the god and good preaching for the betterment of the progress of the society second category is untouchables these people main work is scavenger cleaning tanning tanning is cleaning the dead animals and their skin will be used for some other purpose sometimes it will be used for the musical instruments too next deals with the filthy activities filthy means dirty grimy mukki activities if it is in another way indecent behavior also next the third category is kshatriyas and vaisya kshatriyas meant for warfare that is for the so mechanism defense mechanism and this vaisyas will also involved in agricultural activities herding rearing of the buffaloes or cattle and the trading trading is their main role main activity gunas can also improved through the changing of their food habits as well as marriage system sometimes the qualities of the gunas can also change if you married the some other group of people vegetarian changed into the non vegetarian so according to the circumstances it will be changed by this it is easy to attain the spiritual life example sometimes as time changes people become the world people if they cannot consume the non vegetarian if they can consume the digestion is a problem so that they will turn from non vegetarian to the vegetarian uh, just like that ill health people also so they are moving from the uh, non spiritual to the spiritual life then switch over to the another social activity that is economic based activity jajmani system the mundane relationship among various caste depending upon the receiving and giving the services the phenomenon is called as jajmani relations there are for this two groups are required or two individuals are required one is giver another is the receiver the giver name is the service giver what type of services may be the physical services or mental services they will be called as the kamin the services who are receiving we can call it them as a patron so the relationship between the the interaction between the common and the patron the services mm, the mode of payment how the patron will give the mode of payment to the common that is receiver how he will give the uh, payment to the common that is the laborer maybe daily weekly fortnight monthly are the yearly also if it is the agricultural areas and in the they may be it may be kind of the cash now the nowadays we are using the cash earlier days through the grains only one bag ganni bag or five ganni bags we used to give it to them next regular exchange services are different occasionally exchange services are different regular exchange services is for the existence for the subsistence but rarely or occasionally means at the time of birth at the time of death puberty naming ceremony or the marriage ceremony or nuptial ceremony at that time the mode of payment will also more and more mr gold the another professor is telling there are several reasons to expand the jajmani relations in and outside the village sometimes no need to take the come in services from the same village outside villages also how what are the reasons for this the reasons are divided into three categories number 1 is 
when the absence of the specialist that is the service providers automatically from the outside the village people come and satisfy the needs in the a village common are services are not there the commons are absent then we will call them from the b village next in order to enhance their income whenever there is a services are needed use it to move and render their services there are two villages in one village their services is completed still some more time is there some more energy is there interest is there enhance their income at that time they will go to the out next village and they will do the services and increase their income the third category is when the patron was dissatisfied within their local specialist service providers then automatically they will call the experts from the outside the village even the local village the person uh, kamin was there but his services is not up to the mark of the receivers so that is the patron so then automatically the perfect service provider this in the next village then they will call the that gentleman mr kolanda the nature of kamin work is reformed based on the following situation condition those are three categories so the service providers Uh, activity is not one and same as the time goes on some changes had been taken place those changes we can call it as reforms number 1 in the absence of specific caste who is acting as a kamin then they called the another caste people to satisfy their needs example if the washerman is not available any other caste people will come and do the same activity okay instead of the same caste people another caste people will extend their services then when a specific second one when a specific caste group people are serving as a common from generation to generations but due to sociological psychological and economic and other family conflicts and also changes in the joint family shifted to the nuclear families all these factors are taken place in the society but kamin what does not want to change his behavior he does not want to discontinue his action he wants to continue in the same household the same activity occupational activity why because when we opposed the question to that kamin the kamin answered for us we should always loyal to the master even after his death the lord the household head was demised at the death of the household head their child he wants to do the extend their services to their children as it stands before next sometimes the situation will change the other caste of kamin in the absence of regular kamin the other kamin used to serve for many patrons this is another variety here it is changing the commons are what we observed if a common washerman is not available the another community another caste person is come and do the services while washing services this is from the side of laborer or the common from the side of the patron so here common is one and same labor is one and same washerman is one and same but he is not only confined to the one caste people example brahmin he is a washerman to the kshatriyas washerman to the vaisyas and the sudras also so changes had been taken place both in the common side as well as the patron side also now due to the more number of specializations some caste people are involved in different commons even though the common the service provider is wants to continue his own occupation activity but sometimes because of the advancement of the social changes he is also become the educated person he is not leaving his own occupational activity example washerman he is continuing but luckily when he got the chance to be as a teacher or the collector or the businessman he can also do the another activity from this it is understood partially even though he was educated he does not want to lose the he does not want to forget about the caste or the occupational activity it is continuing by this it is understood still partially the caste based occupational activities are continuing 
then mode of exchange interactions and interrelations there are three types service to service service to goods and goods to goods service to service example if the brahmins are doing some ceremonies or some ritual activities or the preaching to the god or to the betterment of the society betterment of the people marriage whatever it may be if they will perform in return they are getting from the some amount of money or the grains from the common that is service to service service to goods Bra- uh, service to service means the workers will come and do the help for the brahmin house but service to goods means if the brahmins are doing any prayer or marriage performance the workers are that is the kamins are giving some amount of money or the any material to the brahmins if it is not the kamin the kamin is a king let us assume king versus brahmin brahmin is a patron king is a kamin kamin means kamin is receiving kamin is getting the prayers and ceremonies from the brahmin king is receiving the performances of the ceremonies from the brahmin in return what the king is doing to the brahmin to favor them he has given the some land residential land agricultural land for their existence for the maintenance of the temple for this what we call it as agraharam so donate the land for the brahmin community if it is an ordinary laborer he will give some amount of cash or some amount of the rice or the wheat they will give it to them because of the king he has given the land for them under the name of the agraharam then goods to goods when the people are in need of wheat at that but they are the but they are having the rice only so they will request to the another household oh my dear sir please give 1 kilo rice and i will i will give 1 kilo rice you give the 1 kilo wheat exchange the goods to goods is also observed but these three systems that is service to service service to goods and the goods to goods these three types of things are observed in the jajimani relations long back but not in the present scenario by this it is on by this today's lecture is complete today i have given the more elaborate information so here it is gunas are helpful to understand the varna system and the mode of people services towards the society as a brahmin santachables and chatriyas and vaisyas and the social life that is the economic life in the society is jajmani system that is not only from the same village they are getting the services outside the villages also the giver and receiver the names are giver services who will give them services will be called as the kamin receiver name will be the patron so here it is sometimes the receiver may be the brahmins or sometimes it may be the ordinary person also in return they may give the kind or the cash sometimes they will get the comments not only from the village and also outside the village is also possible but the mode of services are service to service service to goods and goods to goods by this today's lecture is completed this is bindu taking leave from the youtube platform if possible do subscribe good day and good night